New video of a private jet crashing in New Jersey this afternoon. And tonight we've learned there is a local connection. That plane stopped in Hanscom Field in Bedford this morning. Two crew members died on board, but no po passengers were on board that plane. But the investigation into what happened, of course, is just getting underway. WBC's David Wade is tracking the breaking details. David? Liam and Paula, right now the National Transportation Safety Board is sending a team to the crash site, which is in Karlstadt, New Jersey. Now, the FAA says the plane was trying to land at nearby Teterboro Airport. It ended up going down a quarter mile from the airport. First responders found two industrial buildings on fire and plane parts scattered all over. Now, believe it or not, as you look at this crash site, no one on the ground was hurt. Now to that local connection you mentioned. The Learjet 35A started its day in Teterboro. Around 7.30 this morning, it flew up to Hanscom Field in Bedford. It then turned around again quickly and took off at 10.09 this morning and headed south. The plane made its way to Philadelphia, then took off at 3.04 this afternoon for that short flight back to New Jersey, where it ultimately crashed. Witnesses described the sound of the impact. It was like if a, a missile just came down, and it's just shocking to have something like that near our neighborhood. Right there is just all the cars are on fire, all the fuel went all over, the poles started getting on fire. Tonight, the former NTSB investigator Al Yerman said that a top priority would be to speak to more of those witnesses. They'll also be looking closely at the weather. Police are also saying tonight that the plane appeared to be tilting to its side just before it went down. Liam? Thank you. More